move on to our next speaker for this afternoon. Dr. Nick Nicholas Griffin is a senior data scientist at Noblezyme North America. Nicholas began working at Noblezyme in 2010, focusing on optimizing enzymes for fuel ethanol production through data analysis and mathematical modeling. He was involved in the launch of Noblezyme's yield discovery solutions, Avantic, Spirizyme, Achieve, and Alexa and developed the content for Noblezyme's first Golden Batch workshop. Nicholas studied applied mathematics, earning his bachelor's degree from the James Madison University, and his PhD from North Carolina State University. His graduate work focused on partial differential equations for granular materials and fluid dynamics. Please welcome our speaker. Dennis, um, and thank you for everyone for being here today. Um, as mentioned, I'm going to talk to you today about uh, flexible enzymatic solutions for an ever-changing market. Uh, one thing I know that uh, a lot of you have heard before is one thing that doesn't change about our industry is change itself. Uh, the industry is definitely changing all the time. So today I'm going to real quickly give a, a market overview um, and, and show where we've come to where we are today. Uh, then I'm going to talk about enzymes for throughput uh, and why throughput might be useful in certain market conditions. Uh, and I'll talk about enzymes for various uh, process conditions, different technologies and so forth, and how enzymes are compatible with those. Uh, then I'll talk about enzymes that are used for chemical cost reduction, uh, it, which is part of our future enzyme development work with enzymes. Uh, and fitting with the big data theme, I'm going to try to show you some, some nice trends in data and statistics behind these results as well. So, real quick, um, market overview. Uh, low oil prices and improving economy have actually uh, driven higher ethanol demands. However, um, these prices and these margins have actually been uh, driven down by overcapacity uh, and uh, a lot of uh, inventory buildup. So, um, the, when the ethanol price is low and your GGGS price is high relative to corn, um, what this does is it actually can reduce the value of additional yield. Um, in some cases, additional throughput might be more important than additional yield. Um, so this has actually been very regionalized, um, depending on the DDGS market in certain regions and various oil and ethanol prices in, in the different regions. Um, so yield can still be very desirable in certain regions. Um, and so regardless of what condition we're under, plant profitability, of course, is always desirable. So you need solutions that are flexible towards whatever market condition you're facing. So first, I'm going to talk about enzymes for throughput. Um, again, throughput can be achieved in two ways. Um, you can increase solids. We can take our plant from 30, 32 solids all the way up to 34, 35, 36 solids. Um, and it can be through fermentation, uh, shortening that ferm time. So we, there's enzymes that are used for increased solids. Um, one of those is our liquefaction solution, Avantec. Um, so Avantec allows you to push solids. Um, mainly because of its enhanced viscosity reduction. So here you can see a sample of five plants, and in these five plants, um, the average slurry viscosity reduction was around 36%, and same for the liquefaction viscosity reduction, just a little bit less than around 33%. Um, so uh, with that uh, viscosity reduction, um, is the potential to push more through your plant because you're not being limited in that process. So again, these conventional older alpha amylase technologies uh, just don't give that same viscosity break as Avantech does, uh, and that's why Avantech will enable you to push solids. So we've actually seen this in a number of plants. Um, so in the graph in the top right, we've got 23 different plants where Avantech has provided a significant solids increase uh, in their plant. Anywhere from just under 2% and by using more focused approaches, we've had customers uh, reach as high as 10% solids increase um, in their plant in their production process. So you know, that 10% increase is going from a 32 solids to a 35.2 solids. So um, with that very focused approach, you can really increase the throughput in your plant. Um, 
However, most of them do lie in that 2 to 5% range. Um, but again, a really focused approach, which we can help uh, the, the production, uh, the plants with, will really drive a uh, potential to get up to 10% throughput increase or increased solids. So even a 3% throughput increase with no additional ethanol yield improvement uh, will generate an additional $700,000 in profit for a 110 million gallon a year plant. And that's using today's uh, last week's oil, uh, ethanol and uh, corn prices. Uh, additionally, a Vantec uh, allows for the potential reduction of ammonia and sulfuric acid, so that could even increase that profitability beyond $700,000. So in Novozymes, um, we try to provide a good faith estimate uh, with our value calculator. In our value calculator, there's everything from enzyme inputs and costs and chemical costs and throughput and yield DDGS costs and, and you know, line for modified or wet cake as well. Uh, and it, it'll, the value pack that will show you all of your costs and all of your profits. Um, so I put that 3% throughput increase using a Vantec into the value calculator. And I allowed for an extra $1 million in increased enzyme spend by moving from a conventional alpha analyze to a higher technology alpha analyze like a Vantec. So that also includes the uh, chemical uh, increase by having to run uh, higher solids. You might need more urea or more yeast as well. So that is subtracted from the profit. So uh, we still have $700,000 profit after enzyme and chemical cost increase. So that shows even allowing for uh, higher technology and more spend, the plant will still end up with more profit uh, if they can increase throughput. And the other way I mentioned is through faster fermentation time. Um, so we have an enzyme for that. Uh, it's called Alexa. Alexa was actually developed for enhanced oil extraction, which it can give up to a 15% oil yield increase. Um, but the other nice thing about it is that it's a, in advanced protease, so it releases amino nitrogen that the yeast prefer to allow for faster fermentation kinetics. So in the graph on the Um, so in the graph here, on the left, you can see in the green is a Vantec and a tube. It's an alpha amylase and a glucoamylase technology added to the fermentation and the perfection. Uh, the purple is adding Alexa on top of that, and what you can really see are the faster kinetics. So this red line at the top shows where equal ethanol yield occurs, um, and that's a five-hour difference. So from 47 and a half to 52 and a half hours difference. So Alexa allowed for a five hour reduction in firm time to get the same yield. Uh, we can actually model this with the Gompertz equation. So this is the four parameter Gompertz equation and there's four parameters A, B, C, and D and they correspond excuse me, to the uh, lower asymptote, so what your initial ethanol amount would be, your upper asymptote, what your final ethanol amount would be, the growth rate, and an inflection point, which tells you where the curvature of this graph changes. Um, so the growth rate is very important because that's telling you how fast your ethanol is going to increase. And you can see the growth rate without Alexa on top is 0 0.086, and with Alexa on the bottom is 0 0.096. So that's a 12% higher growth rate. And if you look at the 95% confidence intervals, they do not overlap. So that's saying, yes, there's a statistically significant increase in the growth rate when we use an advanced protease like Alexa versus no protease. I also point out the upper asymptote because if we had unlimited fermentation time, infinite fermentation time, uh, this gives us the upper bound of what the final ethanol would be. Um, and you can see again, Alexa will give a yield increase even as time goes towards infinity. So if you were running for yield, the Alexa would still be a desirable enzyme as well. So to summarize those benefits, we can decrease fermentation by two to six hours while still maintaining ethanol yield by using advanced proteins. Uh, this equates to a three to 12% increase in throughput uh, using this method. So to if I just allow for a 5% throughput increase uh, with absolutely no ethanol yield improvement, this would generate an ethanol plant about $1.4 million additional profit uh, for, again, 110 million gallon a year plant under current market conditions. 
Again, there's potential for additional profit there as well because Alexa provides amino nitrogen in the fermentation. There's a potential for urea or ammonia reduction in the fermentation as well, which could further enhance the profitability. So once again, going to our good faith estimate here, uh, we allow for a 5% throughput increase. We allow for an additional $1.4 million in enzyme and chemical spend. Yet the plant still gets $1.4 million profit after this if they achieve that 5% throughput increase by shortening the fermentation time. Um, However, throughput isn't always desirable. There, there may be times where yield, of course, is still king. Um, and in that case, you need to be able to achieve maximum yield under any process condition. So we touched a little bit on fermentation time with Alexa, uh, but we also have enzymes that work great in long fermentation times. Uh, we have enzymes that are very compatible, uh, even synergistic with a hydro heater. Uh, we have enzyme solutions that work great with different milling technologies, and enzymes that work great with different cook pHs. So there's enzymes for any process condition as well to help you achieve maximum yield. One of those is uh, Spears I'm Achieved. It's our uh, glucoamylase solution that has a cellulase that uh, attacks the fiber portion of the corn fiber matrix. Um, and <coughs> this is really compatible with JET. You can see it's actually synergistic with hydro heaters. So what I've developed um, from all of our different trials of enzymes that we've done with Spears on Achieve is I've developed a, a, mul a multiple regression model, uh, which is our yield prediction model. This lets us know before we go into a plant what the expected yield increase will be. I pulled two of the variables out from that yield prediction model, uh, and you can see in the top right on the jump graphs, we've got yield increase with Spears on Achieve at 52 hours for jet off plants, and for jet on plants. And this, these are just going to be averages of the industry as a whole. There will be other things that affect these exact values. Um, but you can see Spearzyme Achieve is synergistic with the jet because in the jet off plants, it will give about a third of a percent yield increase over conventional glucoamylase technologies. But in jet on plants, over conventional technologies, it will give an extra 1%, you know, 1.35% yield increase instead of 0.35% increase. So that extra 1% is synergistic. It's still achieved versus other GA, but suddenly you get an extra 1% when you have a hydro heater. So um, what's happening there is the hydro heater is providing shearing, which exposes more fiber, which allows the cellulase component to achieve to really access more of that fiber balanced starch. Now if we extend this out to 72 hours, we can still see there's additional yield increase in the jet on plants. However, the fermentation time allows for uh, additional conversion, and you can see the gap closes a little bit. So 1.71% yield increase versus 1.46% yield increase on average, excuse me, uh, in long fermentation time plants. And Spears I'm Achieved provides a significant yield increase all the way from the 45 to the 80 hour fermentation time range in jet plants. So, Definitely very compatible with a hydro heater, but even if you don't have a hydro heater, you've got that fermentation time. Achieve is a very good solution to help you achieve maximum yield. We're also developing enzymes to reduce chemical costs. Um, we continually feed uh, resources into new enzyme technologies, and um, one of those is uh, we're really focusing on the liquefaction area. Um, if we can present uh, unique new blends of enzymes not realized by you know, conventional older alpha amylases, that'll help us uh, do a lot of things that these traditional alpha amylases can't do, uh, such as complete removal of ammonia, that's definitely a safety benefit, uh, 50 to 80% reduction in the urea you're adding to fermentation. Um, operators love this. If they can reduce that second addition, or in the case of adding 50 pound bags, if they're adding 60, 50 pound bags to a firm and now they only have to add 16, that's a huge benefit for them. Um, in addition to more ethanol, oil, and throughput benefits as well. So one of these enzymes uh, that's in development is a, a blend of enzymes that goes into liquefaction. And uh, one of the nice things about it is it'll provide all the amino acids going into fermentation rather than adding protease into fermentation where you're 
creating the amino acids for the yeast along the way. Instead, they're all ready for the yeast as the fermentation starts by producing it in liquid fashion. This allows for very significant reductions in exogenous nitrogen, anywhere from 50 to 80 percent. Uh, we're even trying to push that beyond 80 percent. And additionally, yield, in, yield is still maintained or even increased in some situations. Uh, so we have four examples where in this new technology that we're developing, we've seen significant yield increase while reducing nitrogen at these plants. And finally, uh, we have a range of services that will help um, our customers achieve maximum profitability under any market condition, uh, especially our new bioenergy university. Uh, it's a next generation training for ethanol plants. Uh, we've got a lot of fun games on that site. There's a lot of interactive training courses. Uh, so I highly recommend uh, checking that out. And a, a wide range of additional services, everything from data analytics support to customized services uh, provided by our technical service or, or business operations teams. Uh, so that's one way to stay ahead of the competition and achieve maximum profitability uh, during these changing times. That's all I have for today. Thank you very much.